Hi guys, this is Jo Beth. Um, this is my week three post-op gastric bypass, Ruin Y. Um, this last week I lost zero pounds, but that's okay. Um, the two weeks before that I'd lost 19 pounds, so that's a crazy amount of weight. I'm okay with not losing. I know everybody hits stalls, and it was my time for a stall, so whatever. My weight actually went down a pound this week, and then it went back up. Um, I know I'm still not getting enough liquid in me. I'm trying my hardest. Um, I'm still not getting enough protein, and I'm still trying... It's really, really hard. I'm getting more in, but it's still not quite what I'm supposed to be. Um, I went back to work last Thursday. Today is Wednesday, July 27th, I think. Um, so work, how has it gone? Um, work has been pretty good. They've been really, really understanding about everything and they ask if I'm okay to do stuff but it's like I work in a super hot kitchen um, we've got all the ovens on we've got a fryer on we've got a like a flat top cook grill top going we've got the um, heat table that where we put all the food to keep it warm um, so we've got a lot a lot of heat in there on I don't remember what day it was maybe this Monday um, I started getting too hot and really shaky and I I had to go sit down because I thought I was going to pass out. That was a bad day. Um, Thursday I was, when I came back, I was super, super tired. Like I can barely make it through my day. Like I felt like I needed a nap as soon as I got home. I think I actually took a nap like 6 o'clock that night and then got up for a little bit and then went to bed. Um, Friday was an interesting day at work. Um, the managers wanted to have a meeting with everybody and they were going to take us someplace to eat uh, and get appetizers and drinks and anything we wanted after work and then have our meeting there. So I really didn't want to go and I was going to have to pick up my daughter from daycare um, early and it ended up I was able to go to the meeting. And I'm glad that I went. It was it was pretty fun, but everybody else was like had free drinks and could drink whatever they wanted. Um, I asked for a water with no ice. <laughs> I kind of sipped on that, and then after sitting there a while, um, everyone's like, "You got to try something. Just try something." And this was like a day or two into me, into my let's see pureed diet, what I was supposed to be on. But I've been trying different things. Um, so I tried a teeny little bit of fish, teeny, 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 tiny little bit of fish, and I tried a teeny, teeny, tiny little bit of cheese, and that's all that I had. But, um, our meeting went really good, and the company was super happy with us because our sales were up, um, from what they even projected for us, and we got, like, $20 gift card to Walmart. It was a, a pretty good meeting. Um, then, let's see. Saturday, we actually had my boyfriend's company picnic. He works for uh, the railroad. He is a locomotive engineer. So we, every five years, his company has like a big deal and they, um, they can take their families on a train ride, which was really cool. I was expecting this to be like, like Amtrak seating kind of like an airplane seating situation and it was really cool they had like leather couches and leather fancy chairs and it was really comfy and a, a cool ride um, I was a little bit nervous it was raining really hard that day so they decided to have the picnic on the train so we were on the train and I was like oh my gosh everyone's gonna see that I can't eat normal food and then I'm gonna be really embarrassed but um my boyfriend went and got my daughter a plate of food and I just kind of nibbled off of a few things of her plate and it went really good. I had like a little pickle, I had a little teeny piece of her hamburger with cheese on it, um, chewed it up really good, it all sat good. I had like two or three little Fritos, they were delicious. Um, 
let's see so I felt like a normal person I could eat like little bits of normal food and I didn't feel like such a weirdo um, that made me feel really good um, oh yes so I ordered some really cool stuff offline and I will show it to you I found these things called moon cheese um, I think I saw it actually on Melly May's one of her videos where she got like a bunch of stuff off a of line and I thought that looks really really good I love cheese and this is like crunchy and delicious and the only thing in there is cheese it's just like dehydrated cheese so I got one in Gouda I got one in Pepper Jack and I got one cheddar flavored they are super super good like they they have just an awesome crunchiness to them you feel like you're eating chips or something but it's like there's no sugar there's five grams of protein it's just a good little treat and I also ordered um, K's natural protein chips they look like this and I got the chili nacho cheese um, these have one gram of sugar um, 12 grams of protein and like 120 calories in one of these bags so um, I of course cannot even eat a whole little bag I eat maybe three or four at a time um, but they have a nice little crunch to them they're not exactly the best chip you've ever had but they're pretty good when you want something munchy I know these are all probably not the best foods that I should be eating um, when I went to my doctor appointment and he said like he gave me the go ahead to have some carbs because I was having issues and I had like super heightened sense of smell and things were making me sick he told me that it was my diet without carbs that was doing that to me and in order to straighten it out I needed to have some carbs so I may have taken that and ran a little bit like I've eaten some Fritos and I mean when I say some I can only have like maybe two little chips at a time but I know it's probably not the best behavior for me to do so I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to get lots of lean meat proteins in because I think the highest calorie day I've had so far is like 300 and something and usually my calories for the day are like 250 270 maybe and I am trying it's it's really really hard my restriction is super 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 tight in there um, I've had some more food issues I think it was Sunday I got up and I was ready to start cleaning and so I heated up two little morning star farms they're like vegetarian um, sausages like breakfast sausages so I ate one and I felt fine and I was like I need more protein so I was trying to eat the second one I had a little bit too much and I didn't even finish the second one but I sat there for like an hour feeling like I was gonna throw up trying to fight it to keep it in my belly so there was another incident of going to the bathroom and pretty much hanging my head over the toilet like I was gonna die <laughs> I don't know it's so weird like your head tells you oh you should be able to eat you know a little bit you should be fine and your belly goes nope that was one bite too much you're full up to like there and it's horrible so I'm fighting that all the time I don't know exactly how much my tummy holds like I should be able to get two tablespoons of food in me and I can't it's like maybe one one and a half if I'm lucky um, but you know I feel like this week has been exhausting because I've been back at work but I feel like I'm I'm able to drink more during the day and it's just a whole big learning curve although I was getting kind of worried that I was gonna have to go back to um, the hospital and get hooked up to IVs because I have not been able to get enough fluids in um, maybe like two 20 ounce water bottles a day that's about it um, and I'm not peeing as much and it's just ugh, kind of exhausted this week
with everything. Some days you just want to eat like a normal person. I remember being at work and I was so excited because it was Taco Tuesday and like I put a teeny tiny like one little spoonful of the beef and then a teeny little bit of cheese on top and a little squirt of sour cream like teeny tiny. It fit into a little teeny sample cup like half full and I didn't even eat the whole thing. But like it tasted like real food. I felt like I was a normal person. And then like I saw my coworkers and they had these like big containers of like taco salad. And in my head, I was like, oh, that looks so good. I just want to pile it up and, and be able to eat that. But I'm not regretting what I've done. I know that this process works. I know that it takes time and I know that it you have to change everything and um, some days though you just you wish that you were that person that could eat large amounts of food I don't know why but you still sometimes have the urge to just eat a bunch of pizza <laughs> I have been around so many situations in the past week or so um, my boyfriend ordered pizza and it smelled so good. I just wanted to eat like three, four pieces and be like, oh, I'm stuffed. I took a teeny little bit of cheese off of the top of it and that's all I had. Um, vitamins. So, I am a stickler for rules. I try to do everything perfect. Um, before surgery, I took my vitamins every single day. Uh, after surgery, I'm having so much trouble trying to get things in my belly, keep things in my belly, like I'm sensitive to smells and sensitive to tastes, and it is really hard to get my vitamins in. Excuse me. Um, I think two days this past week, I did not take my vitamins. Nothing. Um, and that's just like the daily multivitamin. I'm not even allowed to take my calcium yet or some of my other pills until... Um, the doctor said I have to increase my liquid consumption before I can take some of those other things. So I'm working on a lot of it. And I've noticed my hair is starting to fall out. It makes me really sad. I have very long, very, very, very long, thick hair. And it's starting to fall out. I know I need more protein. Um, and I was taking biotin for probably maybe three months religiously before surgery oh, I need to get back on that um, I feel like this has not been a very wonderful successful weight loss surgery week that I'm like oh yay look at all the things I've done right cuz I've eaten Fritos I bought goodies already I want to eat large amounts of food I'm not, and I haven't lost any weight, but it is what it is. I just am being honest with you guys. Um, so, you know, over the past, I don't know, four or five months, as I've been really being serious about surgery, getting into the whole surgical program and everything, I've been watching different videos, and it's like, I'll find somebody that I love and watch all of their videos, and then I'm like, I want more. Um, the past week or so, I have been binge watching um, Clusi, C-L-U-S-I-E, I think. And she just has such a quirky sense of humor. She has made me laugh out loud so many times. Um, she actually had the sleeve done, gastric sleeve. Um, but I still, I love... I love to see what she eats now, I love to see just the funny things that she puts on there. Um, you know, I have a lot of favorites in the weight loss surgery community. I think it would be really cool if I could go to one of the WLSFA, I might be saying that wrong, WLSFA, um, the meet and greet type stuff. Um, I might not go this coming, this next year, but sometime I want to go. I think that this community is amazing and I would really like to be more a part of it. Um, but that's kind of the update for the week. <laughs> and I have a little one yelling my name down the steps. Um, so I guess till next week or the next time I make a video. I hope you guys all have a good week. 
Um, and hopefully next week will be better and I will have eaten perfectly and I will have taken all my vitamins and I will have, you know, had a wonderful week. But we'll see. It's real life. It's not perfect every week. So talk to you guys later. Bye.